Philadelphia school district still has hundreds of open teaching spots that still need to be filled and the start of the school year is less than two weeks away. Marcus, how is the district planning to fill these spots in so little time here? Yeah, Sheba, while they're getting help on the state level, Governor Shapiro announcing recently that teachers or people who go into teaching will get a $2,500 refundable tax credit if they become a teacher or get into education. That's how badly folks here want to incentivize future teachers coming up. They don't want to do what the teachers have to do to keep the kids under control. What does it take to become a teacher? And why aren't more young people entering the profession? That's a question the school district of Philadelphia is trying to address following some troubling data from the Pennsylvania Department of Education, showing the number of teachers in Pennsylvania is dropping. We have about 9,000 teachers across the district, and right now we're at 95.1% capacity. Last year we were at 98% capacity. That's left the school district with some 200 teaching positions left to fill. Quintel Fambro is a mother with five kids in the school district. She says many underestimate how intense teaching can be. That's not an easy job either. So it's probably hard to get people to come in. But um, yeah, we definitely got to do better. The school district has had several job fairs trying to address this issue and recruit new teachers. Jerry Jordan is the president of the Philadelphia Federation of Teachers. He says one of the biggest hurdles for city schools is teacher poaching from other districts. We in Philadelphia, we're competing now with the suburban districts uh, who are uh, offering jobs to our teachers currently in the system. One critique of the profession today is kids are simply unruly and have behavioral issues. Monique Braxton with the School District of Philadelphia says that is an oversimplification of a complex home life a lot of students have. We're trying to go to sleep and they hear gunfire. It is not easy. So quite often those challenges or burdens to bear, as some people refer to it, come home with them. They also come to school with them. So our teachers have to be ready and equipped to just give them extra doses of love. This retired teacher could not agree more. I wanted to be a teacher. Everybody doesn't want to do that. Everybody do you think it comes from the heart? It comes from the heart. Sheba, it has to come from the heart. A lot of teachers do this job. It can be a thankless job and you have to be prepared for it. But a lot of folks might not know they have a, a passion for teaching until they find out they have a passion for teaching. And that's why it's important to discover this at an early age, perhaps in high school, and then figure out you want to be a part of the part of teaching the next generation going forward. It takes a special kind of person to be a teacher, Marcus, that's for sure.